Hello there. Welcome. Today, I would like us to discuss the SAP system integration. Integration generally refers to how multiple systems can seamlessly connect to one another and exist in harmony in a way where compatibility, memory space, and all those technical concerns are not an issue and they all function efficiently for your benefit. So at this stage, I think it's important to ask ourselves, what exactly is SAP system integration? Stick with this video to the end and by the sixth item, you just might have found your answer. My name is Judah Graham. I'm a consultant at IRSL. Let's get into it. So SAP integration not only covers the native um, blocks or functions that need to come together for the infrastructure or the architecture of your ERP solution to work. It also concerns itself with third-party applications, ensuring that not only are all the rules required for it to exist in a, or rather coexist in this case, uh, everything is available, it also functions in ensuring that compatibility, the amount of uh, memory space that is available, its uh, usability and reusability are all covered. So I would like us to take a look from uh, a business to customer experience point of view and have a better understanding of this. So the first point of call is going to be the strategic planning. Before you can carry out any system integration, you must first understand the system that is being focused on. Then you can begin to consider the various processes and functions that can naturally exist within the system. You also need to plan for the amount of memory space that is going to support all these processes. Then, when dealing with third-party applications, would have to see how they can effectively see each other and function to perform the tasks that have been designed for it. Next, you have to pick the right tools that would help you effectively integrate all the concerns of your business solution. This is very important. Third, data management and governance. Data management is the most crucial part of every SAP system because it is this data that is used to test the function of every business ERP solution. So it must be of high quality and the protocols that exist around it must fully be ready to be integrated to whatever system or application or solution you intend to deploy. Next, we have the API management. At this point, your approach must be simple yet efficient. Now, when your system has been successfully integrated, you must monitor and maintain it. Keeping detailed documentation will go a long way to helping anyone trying to troubleshoot that system or even to act as a guide for others to follow. Now six, testing and validation. Haven't created the perfect system? 
and properly integrated it, it is important to continually test it so that it can stand the business realities that it may find itself in. Last but not least, collaboration and communication. It is important that after the system has been integrated, you stay in constant communication with your clients. Their tastes or their situations may evolve. You must be readily available in order to ensure that you are there to assist the integration process with anything they need to do. In conclusion, by leveraging on robust integration strategies like the SAP integration suite, the business can create cohesive and digital ecosystems that will enhance your customer satisfaction, streamline the operations, and uh, drive innovation. Thank you for being with us today. It is important you like, you share, and you subscribe to the channel. Look out for our videos, click on the notification sign, and get informed anytime any of these videos come up. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.